this tutorial, I'll walk you through every step I use to create this cactus. Let's go. Press A to select all, X and G to delete your whole scene. Press Shift A, mesh, and add a circle. Go to the bottom left menu and change the vertices to 60. Press Tab to go into edit mode. Press F to fill and then E to extrude up. Extrude it up. Press S to scale. Press E and right click to confirm. Press S to scale a tiny bit. And E to extrude up. S to scale up. I inset. And then E and extrude down. Then go into edge select. And press Alt and Shift to select all the edges. And then press Ctrl B to bevel. And use your scroll wheel to add three cactus. Press Tab to leave edit mode. And then Ctrl 2 to subdivide. Right click, shade out or smooth. Go back into edit mode with Tab. Press Ctrl R and add a loop cut in the middle. And leave edit mode, press shift A and add another circle. Press G and Z and move it up. Press tab to go into edit mode. Press one or this icon here to go into vertices select. And then press F to fill. And then E to extrude up. S to scale it up. E to extrude up, scale it down and extrude and scale. Press 7 on your numpad to go into top view or press the button right of your left shift button to open the view menu and select top. Go into edge select by pressing 2 and then with alt and shift select the loops here and then click on the icon here or press O to activate proportional editing and then press S and shift Z and then we'll scale it down. And then you can change the proportional editing radius with your scroll wheel. Press tab to leave edit mode and then press ctrl 3 to add a subdivision modifier. Tab to go back into edit mode, press 3 or the icon here to go into face select, select the bottom face and press I to inset. There we go and then we can add another loop cut, move it up. And then press A to select all, S, we can press O to deactivate proportional editing, S and Z, and scale it up so it looks good in proportion to the pot. And then right click, shade smooth, go to your modifier tab and change the render to 3. And then we'll go into front view, which is 1 on your numpad, press G and Z, and move it down. Okay, and then we'll go and add the arms of it. So select your cactus, press Shift D, and then go into edit mode and scale it down a tiny bit and scale it down with S and Z on the Z axis. There, and then we'll press right click, set origin to geometry, R to rotate, and then we'll move it in. And then scale it down a tiny bit there and then press shift D to duplicate and then move it to the other side and you can change the size a bit if you want to and then we'll move that one lower now we'll create the thorn so press shift A and add a circle press G and Y and move it forward press tab go into edit mode press F to fill E to extrude it up and then S to scale it down, and then press Ctrl B and bevel it. And then we'll select this loop here, and then press Ctrl B, bevel that as well. And then scale it up a bit on the Z axis, press Ctrl 2 to subdivide, and then right click Shade Smooth. Go into Front View, and then in, go into Edit Mode with Tab, G and Z down a tiny bit and we'll scale it 
down just like that. There we go. Then we press R X 90 and then we'll go into front view and we'll move it up. Let me see. It's a little too big there. And then we'll go into our side view and then we'll move it into our edges. And then we can create a linked duplicate with Alt D and then we'll move that up. Shift R, you can redo your last action. And then one more link to duplicate. And we'll move it in there. And now we can adjust the position a tiny bit. So it looks good. nice and we can select all of them press ctrl j to join them and then we'll press period and change our pivot point to 3d cursor now we'll create a link to duplicate and rotate it so press alt d and then r z and then 90 and then shift r twice to redo your last action and then we'll select all of the thorns and the cactus and then press R, Z, 45 and we'll put it on. Now we'll go and add our flowers. So press Shift A, add a plane, G and Y, move it forward. Go into top view with 7 on your numpad tab, go into edit mode and we'll press period and change it back to median point. Scale it down with S. Scale it up a bit on the Y axis. Control R to add a loop cut. Scroll up to add two loop cuts. Move them down a bit. And then we'll create a leaf shape. So we'll scale those up down a tiny bit. There, that looks nice. Then we'll add a loop cut with Control R. And then we'll go into edge select by pressing the icon here. Select these two edges, press Ctrl B to bevel, make sure it has three bevel lines. Go into vertice select, select this vertice, you press G twice and move it up. Go back into edge select, and then select these two edges, and then we'll press G and Z and move them down a tiny bit. Go back into vertice select, press O to activate proportional editing, and then we'll click on this vertice here, and then G and Z. And then make it big and then scroll and then move it up a tiny bit and then press o to deactivate proportional editing press a to select all e and extrude it up tab to leave edit mode and then press ctrl 2 to subdivide and then go back into edit mode with tab and then ctrl r and then add an horizontal loop cut and then leave edit mode and then we'll shade smooth and then we'll change our subdivision to three now we're going to top view, go into edit mode, press A to select all, G and Y. And then we'll make sure our origin point is right at the start. Leave edit mode, and then we'll make a link to duplicate. So press Alt D, and then R, Z, 90, and then Shift R twice, just like that. Select one of the leaves, press Shift S and click on cursor to select it. And then press Shift A and we'll add an icosphere. Tap to go into edit mode, S to scale it down. And then move it up and then go into edit mode and then scale it down on the set axis a tiny bit until it looks nice. And we can scale it up a tiny bit and then right click auto smooth. And we can add a subdivision modifier by pressing Ctrl 2. Now we'll select the flower, go into edit mode, scale it down a tiny bit. And then we'll place it on our cactus. So go into front view and then move it up. Make sure that the pivot point is on median point. And then we'll right click and we'll set origin to geometry. And then with R twice, we can rotate our flower and then go into left view and then we'll 
move it towards the arm and then back into front view. There we go. And then just move it into a nice position. Then we'll go into front view and then press shift T to duplicate it. Move it to the other arm, T and Z, and then rotate it and just put it in a position that you personally like. You don't have to use the positions I do. There, that's nice. And then we'll exit it there. There we go. And then press Shift C to reset your 3D cursor to the center. And then go back into front view by pressing one on your numpad. Press Shift A and add a camera. And then press G and Y and move your camera back. And go into camera view by pressing zero on your numpad. Go into the output settings, change your resolution to 1920 by 1920. Move it up and then in camera view, you can press G and Z twice. Move your camera back. There, and then we can move it up. And then R and X twice and rotate it a tiny bit so we can get a nice view. Now I see that my pot is a tiny bit too big for my liking. So I'm just going to scale it down and scale it down a tiny bit on the Z axis. There, I think that looks much better. And we'll go into quickly go into front view, select everything but your camera, and then make sure that your cactus is on the x axis. If you haven't uh, changed the shape of your pot, you wouldn't have to do that. There we go, and then we'll adjust our camera some more, just like that. And then we'll select the whole cactus and then press R and Z, and then we'll rotate it a tiny bit, maybe like. 20. Just like that. And I'm gonna select the part and scale it up in the shift Z and scale it up in X and the Y axis a tiny bit. And then select everything else and then move it down. There. Okay, press shift A, add a mesh and add a plane. Go into edit mode with tab, scale it up, go into edge select. Select the back edge there and then press E and set and extrude it up. And then we can um, bevel the edge as well. Control B to bevel, scroll up, add some more lines and then shape auto smooth. And then we'll go and add our lighting. So first we'll change our render engine to cycles. Device to GPU compute, we'll change our viewport to 128 samples. Render, we can change to 512. And then we'll go into color management and we'll change our look to medium high contrast. And then press Z and go into rendered view. And then we'll add some lighting. So press Shift A, add a light, add an area light. Press G and Z and move it up. Now we'll go into our light settings and then we'll change the shape to disc and the size to two. And then we can change the color to 80 maybe. Press period and change your pivot point to 3D cursor. And then press R, X, uh, 30, minus. Oh, let's make it 20 minus. R, X, 20 minus. There we go, have a nice backlight. And then maybe change the power to 100. And then shift the RX 20 and then RX 45 and then RZ 30. And then we can move it back a bit by pressing G and Z twice. And then maybe increasing the power to 120. And I press shift the RZ 60 minus. And then G set and then move it back a tiny bit. There we go. And we can increase this power to 140, maybe 160 even. There, looks nice. Now we'll press Shift A and add another area light. And then G and Z to move it up. Press period to change it to median point. And then RX 45. 
then move it towards the background change the shape disc and then the power to 100 and then we'll have nice lighting for our background maybe change the color to 150 there yeah it looks pretty nice uh, we can always adjust this later if we uh, see that we need to uh, fix some uh, things so let's add some materials now we'll go and add our background material so select the background go to the material tab call it background we'll change the base color to e7c6a8 and then we'll click pot add a new material and then our base color is C26E43. We can maybe change the roughness to 0.4 on this one. And then we'll give the cactus its color. Call it cactus. Base color is going to be 38CA6F. And then we can select the arms of it. And then shift click, select the other one. And then shift click, select the cactus laid past. And press Control L and then M to link the materials. Then we'll go and click on one of the spikes, add a new material, call it spikes, and we'll change our base color to A0C3AE. And then our flower. So we'll start with the leaves, call it flower leaf. And then our base color is going to be E74C6D. And then select this flower and then the red color lost control M to link our materials again and then select the center of the flower and then we'll call the flower center and our color is going to be ffe100 and then select the other one and then link the materials now we'll go and change our world settings so if we go into our world tab, change the color to A56C6C. There we go. And let's see, I'm going to change this light. I'm going to make it a bit stronger. Move it a tiny bit closer. And I'm going to change, select the backlight and then give it a slight orangey yellow color. Something like FFE 7C4. And that's it. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. If you found any part of it unclear or have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you decide to share your artwork on Instagram, don't forget to tag me. I'd love to see your creations. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider supporting the channel by subscribing and liking the video. And remember, practice makes perfect, so go ahead and experiment with the skills you've gained. Thank you for watching and good luck.